Morning, so I'm starting this video very early. I'm here at the Premier Inn at Gatwick Airport to go and fly to Lapland and the capital of Lapland, which is Rovaniemi. Now I understand it's obviously gonna be very cold. So I've come prepared. I've got my nice thick winter coat on and temperatures when I get there should be around about minus three to minus four. That's the maximum high. But later on in my stay, I believe that temperatures are gonna get down to minus 11. So if you think this is cold this morning, which is probably what, I don't know, eight degrees, this is gonna be like sunbathing. So I am traveling light today, but this coat is way too thick to go in the case. So I'm gonna to have to carry it around with me or probably wear it. I'm traveling with EasyJet, check-ins behind me. Let's go. How many times have you traveled from the airport and seen a Christmas tree? Thankfully, it's not very busy this morning. Current time is quarter to five. My flight leaves at half past six, or 6.28, I think. Thank you. Good morning. Let's check my bag in. Please place a bag on the belt and then scan your boarding pass. Here's my tag. Put this on myself. Tag attached, yes. And all I do is hit send bag. My bag. No, hang on. Okay, so the wheels are having problems with the belt. I'm gonna get a receipt. I know what you're thinking, I look like Mighty McFly. I'm also sweating. I'm gonna have to take this coat off. Luckily, I can take a small bag on board with me to put under the seat. But I'm gonna go through passport control. I'll see you over the other side. It's a Sunday morning, so quite quiet going through security. Nice and quick. Will I get a chance to get a little bit of breakfast before I get on the flight or will I have to have it on board? I think I might have to actually. It's been very tight for time. Their Christmas lights are up, a little bit basic. So here traveling from North Terminal this morning. Very few times that I've been at the airport at Christmas. So I've always been interested to see you know, do they go crazy with their Christmas trees or are they a little bit more relaxed? That's a sleigh. It's pretty good. It's always a queue for Weatherspoons. So I'm looking for Rovaniemi, which is going at 6.25 and it's right up there at the top. Gate invert 5.25. North Terminal is now mostly EasyJet. All right, I need to get some water because it always costs so much more money on the plane. Did I see boots in here? Am I going crazy? It's gonna have to be WH Smith then. People always say to me, get a meal deal, but there's something I kind of like about getting food on the flight. I am tempted, very tempted. So there's boarding 565, it's down here. No complimentary newspaper this morning. So twice I've flown from Gatwick and twice I've flown from this gate, really randomly. So hopefully when we get up there, it should be a nice sunrise. And when we get to Rovaniemi, it's actually gonna be sunset, going just into the Arctic Circle. And it's almost winter, the days aren't very long. Let's quickly talk about the weather. If you go to Lapland, you expect snow, whether or not there's gonna be much snow. And what does that actually mean when you get to Lapland and there's no snow? That'll be interesting. Thank you. Thank you very time. much. Do we have got that for this flight to Lapland? We made flying today. Uh, it's a jet learning coming to the Grinch. Uh, I can call Charlotte at the front and Curly with her and Fabrizio and Candy at the back of the aircraft. As you can expect, there's a bit of a snow day today. Temperature of minus eight degrees Celsius. We now ready to go, sit back, relax and enjoy the flight. What's for breakfast? Easy jet menu here, look. Apparently they do turkey sandwiches. Look at that, they sell Bailey's hot chocolate. Is it too early for one of those? Just look how beautiful that morning sky is. So I didn't want to go for the bacon roll because there's no like butter on the bacon roll so I've gone for a Kit Kat pretzel roll and a cup of tea. Thank you for flying with 
the East End today. I hope you all have an amazing time here in Lapland. People can't wait to have a photo taken. <laughs> Look at that with the northern lights. How pretty. Baggage reclaim this way. Just look at what we can see already. It looks amazing. Welcome to the happiest country in the world, apparently. There's the North Pole. Literally, I'm just here. Look at the frost. See, I'm young enough to remember getting quite a few of these in the UK when I was younger. We don't get as many of them anymore, do we? Well, the temperature's minus seven. It's quarter past 12. The local time back home is quarter past 10, so we're two hours ahead. And I could do the sensible thing and get a taxi, but I thought I wanted to take in the scenery. And it's around about a 30 minute walk to my accommodation, which is the Santa Claus village which is in that direction. Let's go. And I was right. I said, as soon as I get here, the sun would be almost going down, which it's doing right now. And in fact, give it another two, three weeks and there's barely hardly any daylight here at all. Obviously the further north you go into Lapland, the darker it will be. I think there has been a little bit of snow, a very small amount. If you've never been to Lapland before, the thing that is the most prettiest are the trees. And especially when you get the blue sky as well. Now there's an advert. The magic begins. The signpost there, Revenemi. Just look at the signs. The frost. That's how cold it is. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I'll be able to see the northern lights as well. I think it's fair to say I am the only silly person doing this walk. I haven't seen anyone else. I'm sure I saw someone on a bike earlier, unless that was my imagination. But obviously I, I just, I'm only here for a couple of days, so I really wanted to take it in. I just wish I had a pair of gloves because holding the camera with no gloves does get cold. And wheeling a suitcase as well, it's not a good idea. So if I continue down here, and it should be somewhere on the left. Best be quick, because it is starting to get dark. 500 meters up this way, we're getting closer. Tell you what, I can really start to feel the cold now in my trousers and also in my nose. Gross that it sounds, my nose is running, but it's actually frozen up my nose. It, it feels pretty crusty. And I've made it. Obviously, we're having a good old walk around here and you can see that in the, uh, the main video that's coming up soon. But first, let's go check in and get warmed up and hopefully get to my, my little log cabin. So there's a restaurant coffee bar there. I didn't know this because I've been out in it for a long time but it feels like it's getting even colder. Here we are, hotel reception. Look at that sunset, it looks beautiful doesn't it? All right, here we go. Oh it's warm. The camera might steam up now. Check-in starts at four. What's the time now? one o'clock i've got a while to wait so i've got to wait till four o'clock to check in and it's now one o'clock so i've got a few hours to kill but i thought i would show you my accommodation during the day although i don't know which chalet i'm in but i can show you where it's located from the santa Cruz. plus it's sunset i mean look at that it's absolutely beautiful definitely my favorite time of the day and of course being clear skies maybe fingers crossed i might be able to get to see the northern lights tonight So here I am in Santa Claus Holiday Village. Now what is totally amazing about these lodges is that as you see in front of you, you have one door and two windows. So you basically get a lodge either side and all of the lodges have a little balcony with some chairs. And most importantly, they have their own Christmas tree. I'm gonna kill some time and I'll return here when it's dark. Well, just after four o'clock, I've got my room. I thought this place looked pretty good at sunset. 
looks amazing at night. Earlier, I called them long cabins. They're classed as cottages, but it sounds a bit more romantic when you say a log cabin, doesn't it? It's a very clear sky tonight. The camera doesn't really pick it up, so hopefully I might be able to see some northern lights. You'll have to check out the main lap plan video for that. I'm in number 44, which is just over there. Looks pretty cosy. Have we got any neighbours? Just walking onto the veranda. Got my own table and chairs. And I love this, you get your own Christmas tree. So amazing. No presents though. And this is my view. Wow. Let's go in. Shame there's no light inside. Oh, there you go. So you share it with somebody else. Well, the front entrance anyway. It's lovely and warm anyway. Let's turn some lights on. Shut the door. And here is my little cosy cottage. Wow. I have myself a little mini living area. Is that antlers? I've got coffee machine, got a huge kettle. Isn't this nice as well? Nice little bit of Christmas decoration. I've got some complimentary tea and coffee and a little welcome look from Santa or from the cleaner. Little Santa Claus sweets. A very small, very, very small kitchen. That's all you need really, a sink, a couple of hobs here. But to be honest, I don't need to worry because I do get breakfast included. Nothing in there. My essentials, pots and pans, cups, and even a microwave. Got a fridge and a bin. Let's put some lamps on. Decoration in this room is really lovely. See how it feels like a, a wood cabin? Now there is one epic fail in this room. Can you spot it? Yep, the TV is over the bed. The couch is there. <laughs> the TV is there. What's going on? What's that about? Oh, they're pretty. I'll do the bed test in just a moment. Wow, they're real? I'm not sure. Got a mirror there to check myself out. Cupboard, extra pillow. And I take it. The closet. What's up here? An extra duvet. And another extra duvet. Is it underfloor heating? I don't know where the heating is actually coming from. It must be underfloor heating, because it is very warm. Thermostat here. A nice cosy 25 degrees. Outside, the temperature right now is minus 15. Yikes. Oh, the blinds are on the, <laughs> I went over the blind. The blinds are in the window. Can you actually open the windows? Sounds so silly, but, oh, you can. Woo, close that, that's cold. The bed test, oh, I sink into this. Is this like a memory foam? Mattress, very nice. I can't say I like these kind of pillows, but I'm not complaining. They're very cushiony. I still can't get over the TV, the fact that the TV is facing that way over the bed. Let's check out the bathroom, because this bathroom is very different to your normal bathroom. So behind this door, I should have a shower, toilet, sink, and a sauna. Yep, <laughs> I have all three. The bathroom and the sink. There's the hairdryer. More toilet roll. Do you know what? I would have loved a bath, but I'll take the shower. And then I've got my very own sauna, which is not on at the minute. I'm not quite sure how you how you work these, but I guess I'll have to figure it out. But wow, you get your own sauna. That is crazy. If you like saunas, it's a finished thing. 
people in Finland love their saunas. Look at the temperature you can go up to. What, 70 degrees, wait 30 minutes, have a shower, get in there, splash a little bit of water on. <laughs> Sit there looking cool. Give yourself a shower, drink water, and you'll be fine. Wow, that room is lovely. It's cozy, it's warm, it's everything I need to enjoy my Lapland experience. The flight here was quite nice as well. It messes with your senses though. I left during sunrise and got here at sunset and I was only in the air for about a few hours. I was a little bit gutted. I had to wait till four o'clock though considering I arrived here at 11 to get my room. My flight was 11. I should have kind of timed it a little bit better but it was nice to go and get a coffee and walk around. If you want to see my whole Lapland experience make sure you click the video here give the video a ho 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 thumbs up make sure you hit subscribe click the notification bell and i'll see you next time